chosen vessel. What's good? Everybody throw that V up for God's chosen vessels because this is Drew 2 where we came to give you more and never lesser. Everybody hit that like button. Everybody hit that subscribe button. Everybody hit that share button. If you are a true chosen vessel in the building with me right now, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that share button. I got one more thing for y'all today. You know I always got something good for y'all. Let's check it out. I want to let you know that these people are afraid of you because they see them they see themselves as being better than you. These people see themselves as being better than you and they're in competition with you. And you being successful means a you that's winning and these people don't want you to win. They don't want you to win because when you win, it means that they're going to not be winning. When you're winning in their mind, it means they're losing. When you do good in their mind, it means that it's not going to be any good left for them. It's just their ego. It's their disorder. It's the whole narcissism thing. All right. These people are afraid of your success. They're afraid that you're going to win and you're going to have good and they're not. That's what happens when people know you. It's human nature. When people aren't successful themselves and you're about to become successful, it's going to make them anxious. It's going to make them scared. They're going to feel like they're about to be left behind. And these people see that you're about to be more successful than anybody they ever knew. These people see that your success is coming from God. These people see that you are not playing around this year. They see that it's only been, what, the first month of the year? And they've been keeping tabs on you already. If if you've been doing this much and it's only been one month, and it's only the first month of the year, they can't even imagine where you're going to be at at the end of the year. They can't even fathom that. That's why they're scared. Because they're like, oh my goodness, this person is going hard. This person's going in. This person's not letting up. This person is doing it and doing it and doing it. This person is not stopping. Each day they got something. Each day they're doing something new. They're not letting up. I always see him working on it. I always see him doing it. He comes to work every day. She comes to work every day. I called out yesterday. She don't never call out. She's always at the job. The first one there and the last one to leave. They see you doing your thing and they are scared shitless. You got these people worried to the point of no return. They're worried sick because they know they're not doing anything. And they know at the end of the year, when they try to go compare their life with you, since they're in a competition with you, they know you finna blow them out the water. You finna blow them straight up out the water like you a grenade or something. These people are scared shitless because they know that you're attacking each and every day. They know you're not letting a second go to waste. These people know you. They know you. They know you go hard. They know what your dreams are. They know you want to be successful. They know you want that brand new car. They know you want that brand new house. And before, they didn't think you were going to be able to get it. But now, they're scared shitless because, oh my goodness, They're starting to see your vision. They're starting to see that, oh my God, he could actually get this. They're starting to see, oh my God, she could make that happen in her life. Oh my God, she's going to manifest that. What am I doing with my life? I haven't been doing anything like that. They see that you're going to do it big. They see you're about to hit big time. They see your life is going to look like you hit the lottery. These people play the scratch off every day. Playing numbers. Can't hit not hitting and your life is a lottery your dreams are a lottery when you wake up in the morning and you put in work and go after your goals and dreams you hit the lottery because in in time you're going to be going in in time you're going to be balling all up in their face and it's not like it's not like you you're, you're bragging about it it's not like you're like yeah I'm balling I'm this I'm that no not at all these people try to be these people try to compete with you They tried to compare their life with yours. They tried to be better than you, get in your way, slow you down. Hey, I'm doing better than you right now. Look at me. I've got better shoes than you right now. Look at me. My chain's bigger than yours. 
Look at me. Oh, you're walking and I've got this nice car. These people are scared because they they told themselves you would never get a car. You about to be driving a Lamborghini. They they told themselves that you would be homeless forever. God's about to bless you with a mansion. Big old yard. These people told themselves that you wouldn't be anything. Every time they saw you, when they when they got jealous of you because they don't work on themselves, they just told themselves that they were better. They sized you up. They looked at what they had. They looked at their possessions. They took that. They tallied everything up, and they looked at your life and compared themselves to you and say, "This person don't have nothing. This person ain't never gonna be nothing. I don't have to worry about her. I don't have to worry about him. Let me just focus on me. This person ain't gonna be nothing. You know why? Because they you're the tortoise." And they're the hare. The, the hare slept on the tortoise. They're sleeping on you. Just like that, uh, just like the hare slept on the tortoise, they're sleeping on you. They're sleeping on your success. They're sleeping on your goals. They're sleeping on the steps you're taking to become successful. They're sleeping on you, period. Because they're looking, they don't know that you've been working on your goals and dreams secretly, privately, not airing your business out. But they don't need to know. What they need to know what you're doing for. Why do, they, why do they need to know that you have goals? Why do they need to know you have dreams? Why do they need to know that you're about to be successful? But I'll tell you why they know. Because they're watching the shit out of you. And they're monitoring your every move. Every step you take, they'll be watching you. These people are watching the shit out of you. You are their television station. Okay? And they can't change the channel. You are their television station. And they can't change the channel. These people watch you and they're on you like white on rice. Okay, that's an old school saying. These people are on that ass like white on rice. All right. And they can't get enough of you. But the thing is, you got them scared because they actually see you in that new house. They see you in that new yard. They see you with the jewelry. They see you in the Lamborghini. They see you in the Rolls Royce. They see that you're about to have it. They see you're on the brinks of your success. And they don't like it because I'm telling you, they're getting paranoid. They're like, oh, my God, she he's 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 going to get that nice car. Oh, my God, he's he's going to get the girl of his dreams. Oh, oh, oh my God, I'm still going to be here working. Oh, oh, he's going to be going out and going to the Super Bowl. And he's going to be flying to Hawaii and going to Tahiti and going to Puerto Rico. And I'm still going to be here washing cars. I'm still going to be here washing dishes. He's going to be in China and and, uh, and that. Oh, <laughs> he's going to be in China and uh and uh, he's going to have a nice car and he's going to have a nice house. Uh, 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 how come I don't have a nice house? Uh, uh, why come I don't have a nice car? Uh, don't ask no questions. Now you can ask all the questions you want. This is Drew too. And I got all the answers you need. Feel free to ask all the questions you want, but that's what, how these people are looking at you. They're like, they're, they're not putting in any, any work to become successful, but they're like, God, well, well, why come I don't have a nice car? Uh, 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 how come I don't have a nice house? And you know what God is telling them? God is telling them, don't ask no questions. God's telling them, don't ask no questions. Just work on your damn self. That's what God is telling them. Don't ask no questions. Just work on your damn self. Because these people ain't working on themselves. All right? And then they want to get scared when somebody about to become successful. You damn right I'm about to become successful. The fuck you think I'm working on myself for? What the hell you think I'm putting all these countless hours in for? Working on this, working on that, staying up for this, not getting any sleep because I need to do that. You think I'm just doing that to stay broke? Hell nah. Hell nah the science guy. I'm doing that to become rich, man. Because I already see the riches in me. I already see the wealth in me. I already see the success in me. I see those things in me. And you should see them in you too. And when you start talking like that and walking like that, and people could feel that on your presence, people feel you're rich. People feel that you're successful. They, You are scaring the shit out of these people. All right? They're going to be your friend one day, and then the next day act like they don't even know who the hell you are. Who the hell is that person? I don't know. Act like they don't see you. Act like they don't know you. Act like they never met you. Why? Because you're special. And you're about to become successful, all right? And about to be put on another level, all right? You're not going to be on the bottom with the pebbles. You're going to be shining like a diamond, all right? You're going to be shining bright like a diamond because that, that's your true self. And God is about to align you with your true self. 
God's about to align you with that wealthy self. God's about to align you with that healthy self. You got riches in you, all right? You're rich, you're wealthy, you're healthy, you're prosperous, and God wants to give you the kingdom, okay? Because he sees that you're seeking him. He sees you're going after him and all his righteousness, all right? And that's why your enemies are scared shitless, all right? They got diarrhea. You got your, your enemies, you gave them diarrhea, man. You gave your enemies the poops. They are scared. They're worried about you. They're like, oh my God, I, I, uh, uh, I'm not going to be in a new house. I don't want her to be in a new house. How can I stop her from being in that new house? Because she's going to be in a new house and I'm not. He's going to be in that brand new car and I'm not. They're going to look like movie stars and I'm not. These people are scared and worried, man, because you're about to take off and they're afraid that you're going to leave them behind. Well, guess what? You didn't leave them nowhere. They left themselves behind. They left themselves behind. You free your mind and your ass will follow. Shout out to the last poets. Free your mind and your ass will follow, man. My dad put me onto them. I'm telling you. These people are going to be real afraid. It's already, it's only the first month of the year. And you see how they're coming at you. This is, this is your season to get it done. All right. At the end of this year, they're not going to recognize you. You're not going to look the same. You're not going to be walking the same. You're not going to be talking the same. You're going to be a whole new you. They are, you are going to be unrecognizable and they are going to be even more scared. All right. You're changing right before their eyes in a positive way. All right. You're bearing so much light. You're blinding them in more ways than one. You're positive. You're praying, you're eating right, you're thinking right. You behave right. You know what I'm saying? You're not being a you're not being a, a weirdo out here. You're not being rude to people. You're not being a total demon to folks. You know? You just live and let live. You're leaving people alone, being peaceful, not bothering people, not getting on nobody's nerves purposely, not trying to drain nobody's energy, not stalking nobody, not being an energy vampire. That's not your style. All right? That is not your style. God knows you ain't got nothing to do with that, that dumb stuff. All right. And that's why your enemies are scared because you didn't waste time like they did. You didn't play around like they did. Hi, that's them. Hi, that's them. They just hi, playing around all weird and immature and shit. When you got stuff you need to be doing. There's a time and place for everything. Of course, you're supposed to laugh, crack jokes, have fun, all that fly shit. But you can't just, that can't be your go-to. That can't be your mode when it's money to be made out here. That can't be your mode when people are becoming bosses and millionaires. Every, it's a new millionaire made every day. What are you playing around for when you hate your job, when you're driving a piece of shit car, when you're living in a, a room the size of a fucking jail cell? <laughs> okay, with a whole bunch of other people who don't even like you. Smelling like cigarettes, smelling like shit, stinking up everything. Can't even walk past somebody. <sighs> you want to keep living around that shit? Hell fucking no. I know you don't. And that's why your haters are scared shitless because they know you're tired of them. They know you're tired of that environment. They're not tired of it enough. They don't want it bad enough. They don't want it bad as you do. They don't want that car as bad as you. They don't want to be walking on that marble floor barefoot 3 a.m. in the morning, walking in that big ass refrigerator. You got to use a flashlight. Your kitchen's so damn big. Got to make sure you don't cut yourself on the counter. Nice little marble countertop going to get you some pristine grapefruit juice. $100 bottles worth a $100 bottle of grapefruit juice. That grapefruit juice call, uh, costs $100. That grape juice. So good. Made from the real precious grapes with the seeds. You know, flown out. You know, it's it's exotic, exquisite, imported. All right. Not everybody can get their hands on that, and you got it. That's the type of life you're gonna have. You know, riding in the Rolls Royce with the plush leather seats. You are scaring these people because your your vision for yourself is bigger than the vision they have for you, and that scares people. That scares people, man. They're like, oh man, I just saw this for him. Your boss is just like, oh, man, I thought he was just going to flip burgers for the rest of his life. I thought she was just going to uh, be a cashier for the rest of her life. Hell nah. 
the science guy. Hell no, man. That shit got to go, man. You grew past that. And get when you grow faster than people, they get scared. Like you're you're growing and you're changing and you're you're metamorphosed you're metamorphosed uh, you're metamorphosing every day. All right, every day you're going under going into a metamorphosis. Every day you're changing. Every day you're going through a, a a spiritual awakening, waking up to new ideas, becoming aware to new truths. God's speeding this process up, and the devil's running out of time, and they are scared shitless. Because they see how God is working on your life. You're one of them ones that God is blessing. It's the last days and times, people. And God is uplifting his chosen vessels and putting us above all the bullshit and the negativity and the hatred and the hatred. It's time for us to win. All right. And they are scared because when you win, it means that they're going to lose. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. My fellow winners. My fellow chosen vessels in Christ, I know you want to win. Continue to win with me. Thank you for watching this video from beginning to end because we are going to win. All right. It's not time for us to lose because that's not what we choose. Thank you for watching this video. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next episode.